Hey guys, we're gonna make a really cool game today. It's gonna be Risk, but if you lose, post your search history on Twitter publicly. Now this is gonna be really awesome to play with all my friends that play games with me. You know, I'm fine. I don't need friends. Like, I mean, this, normally people don't have friends. It's like, I'm doing fine. This is normal. But like, what if I did have somebody? So this is going to be a tutorial for any else of you who are, uh, I'm going to use the L word here, lonely out there. Like me, if you don't have access to a bunch of human body parts, you're going to have to use other robotic methods. For me, I'm going to go with some 3D printed filament and good old hot glue. So this is what I came up with. It's going to be a robot arm. Uh, it's got some servos. It opens and closes. It opens and closes, you know. Ooh. So we're just going to go ahead and attach our friend to the electrical outlet. You too can do this at home if you want to turn them on wording, but whatever. But as you can see, uh, the arm is turned on, but we have some more control if we plug in some commands. We have a program on the computer which sends over some encoded data to the Arduino, and the Arduino sends it to the servos. All that we need, you need to know is that I'm controlling this with a Python script on my computer, so show you it in action. So as you can see, we got another random movement there. Uh, I can go ahead and import some different random movements. So I've told it to do eight random movements back to back. If this happens to your friend, uh, just go ahead and add more glue. It's going to make him a lot more healthy. As you can see, it's moving around and sort of opening up the arm, shutting the arm, doing all sorts of stuff, partially opening it, partially shutting it. And it's going to just go through eight different motions um, periodically. And then once it's done, it'll tell me on that end. You done? It's done. You can even pick up objects, and I'll show you it doing that here. So there we go. Just hand it the thing. There we go. Picked up the object and set it down once more on the ground here. This, of course, isn't quite a game, but um, there's also some other tech kinks to sort of work out of the arm. Some programming in some games do that. Maybe go for blackjack, play against it, so fixing all the problems cut. After looking at this code, you might notice that, hey, this isn't very good. It can cause an error if you go into the wrong area at the wrong time. And all I have to say to that is, that's not my problem. That's the problem of the person changing it. I'm a true programmer now. In order to make an animation, an animation for the arm, all you have to do is go to the animation editor. This is a list of animations that the arm will go through, but really this is just stored as a list of strings. And you go to compile that into usable data for the arm to be able to actuate. It actually transforms that into a list of integers parsed based on parsing the strings and sort of converting them into a bunch of angles and data about possible transitions. Then it changed again into a bunch of strings. Uh, these strings are actually just strings of lines of code that would add the appropriate order commands to the register of commands that the program keeps or runs in the background. Now, of course, this, these commands are timed out and processed and everything are sent over as a string of numbers and letters across the serial port to the Arduino. And the Arduino takes them and parses out all of the angles it needs, which of course are then transferred from the Arduino to a servo's microcontroller, which then uses them to move the arm. I want to communicate how writing these animations for the arm felt here is a compilation of what it feels like. Oh, 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 no, 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 wait, wait a second, wait a second. Arm fell apart, I rebuilt it, now it runs on different animations. Redo the whole thing. Hit animation, bust animation, normal turn animation, pass. animation, animation, busted animation. Slam, laugh, animation, animation, frustration, animation, taunt, animation, loss, animation, fist bump, animation, reshuffle, Confused, animation, 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 tie, animation, start, animation, win, animation, funny, animation. Here we are again, it's time to play Blackjack. Still alone, but not for much longer. The friend, I mean, arm is here, and here it is, it's capable of playing Blackjack now. A bunch of work went into this, and so I'm just gonna, you see that the, the cards have these faces on them, and this is Abe Lincoln, I'm just gonna give this face to the friend, make him a little bit more personable. Just like that. Let's start the game.
Okay. Looks like the computer has 18. I have 19. The computer hits and it got an ace, which it chose to be a one. So now the computer's at 19. We're tied. I'm gonna go ahead and pass, guessing that the computer's gonna hit again, and then maybe it'll bust. So here we go. Oh, okay, the computer stayed. It did this kind of like show that it stayed. Uh, so I guess we tied. Game two, game two, it's fine. This is fun, this is fun. It's not that I kind of sadistically want to completely destroy my new friend. Maybe it is, but play again. Computer has 20. I have 15. Uh, the computer has stayed, so of course I'm going to hit if I have any, if I want any chance of winning. Uh, looks like I got an ace. Uh, of course, if I get an ace, I'm going to pick a one. The computer has already stayed, so it's just laying its hand down because it's dumb. Um, I have 16, so I'm going to have to hit again. Oh, I got a 10. I bust. I bust. And the arm just went to, to, to beat me. Because it beat me. Do you hate your friends sometimes? It's okay, it's okay, I'm not mad, I'm not mad. We're gonna play again, we're gonna play again until I win, okay? That's how this is gonna work, okay? Okay, this is nice and easy. Okay, I, computer is 18, I have 11. The computer is stayed, so this should be nice and easy. I got a 10, let's go! Screw you, computer, I'm the winner, I'm the winner! I miss him. This game has a few drawbacks. Notably, you might have been, if you were keen-eyed, you might have noticed that these cards are not actually what you're seeing, what I'm saying. And this is because the, this uses virtual cards inside of its systems. Um, and so these are just kind of props. I'm just drawing up random cards and this says what it actually has. And it's a little weird because this screen is really bright and I can't really show it to you. So maybe a different game, maybe like throwing paper airplanes would be something that this arm is better at. Let's, let's, let's try that. Go. It's totally not later, the same day, and it's time to make the next arm game. And this is of course airplanes, paper airplanes, amazing, love them. Now all I've done is teach the arm and to throw the airplane. So... So the first part of the flat, the arm animation as you can see, goes down in order for me to place the airplane inside of the hand. Okay, we put the, the airplane inside of the hand and now all we have to do is let the animation continue. Um... Uh, airplane didn't work. Servos don't move that fast, so the airplane doesn't even make sense. And also, rock, paper, scissors. It's simple, easy, you can tell what it's doing. Here we go. Of course, I am going to pick rock. As you can see, it, it picked scissors, and so I won and it got sad. That was the sort of thing that went on there. You can watch it and it's actually quite quite easy to tell what's going on. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. So we're gonna play a game this time. We're gonna pick paper. Okay, it looks like the arm picked scissors again uh, and you can see that. Um, and so it went up to its victory position. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna give it a script to uh, repeat, go through all the different options it can go through so you can sort of see all the animations it's capable of doing. I know it's about to pick rock, so if I also pick rock, we're gonna tie and you can see that animation. So you can go ahead and see that it picked rock. It has a closed fist. Uh, and this means it ties and sort of goes into a whatever animation. And as you can see, this is exactly like being with another person, I think. I wouldn't know, but you know, uh, Now we're gonna have show off the paper animation. As you can see, it has its hand all the way spread out, which indicates a paper. I'm glad at the end of this all, I can be here with my friend.